Apologies for the late video, been busy with good old life, but no worries my dudes. About to shoot out more videos Hogan's Alley style. Just got back from a wicked cool convention called Too Many Games, a cool convention where a lot of people are playing arcade games, a lot of vendors, and just a lot of cool celebrities there as well. Anyways, I will post a small video about it on Slim Shady Graphics, my main channel. Anyways, enjoy the video. Yo guys, what is up? Slim Shady Graphics here on Purging Collectors. This video is actually being uploaded to my main channel and this channel. So it's going to seem a little bit weird if you're watching it from both ends on whatever channel. I just really wanted to get this video out there to as many people as possible because uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here and I wanted to inspire you guys to try to pick up some of this stuff um, as well. So let's get right into this. So before we start off uh, with everything here, the last two things we talk about, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a previous video on Purging Collectors where I talked about a ROM hack called uh, Sonic Mega Mix. It's a really cool ROM hack. I made a whole video about it. I'll have it in the description for you guys to actually go click so you can watch it. And if you want to get a little bit of backstory with uh, some of these ROM hacks, you can. Uh, we'll be discussing these last. These are online pickups, uh, these two games, but we'll talk about them in the end, so no worry, no worry at all. What we're going to speak about first is the handhelds I got and just all the handheld collectibles, basically. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, and the very first thing that we're going to start with is actually with my Game Boy Advance that I just received right here. I got this uh, a couple days ago. I always wanted to get my Game Boy Advance again because I have one in the past. I had a red Game Boy Advance SP and my brother had a blue one. For some reason they just uh, up and disappeared out of nowhere which kind of sucked. So I saw this Game Boy Advance SP at uh, a flea market for $35. So I decided just to pick it up right then and there. I felt like it was right just because it was for a great price. The Game Boy was in great condition and uh, I had no problems. So I tested it out right then and there too just to make sure so I didn't get ripped off or anything because I have in the past. Uh, got ripped off when it came to buying an older Sega Saturn, which I'll talk about a little bit later as well. The next lovely thing that we're going to talk about here is a original um, DS. This is a red and silver original DS, which I think is pretty neat. I don't remember seeing any silver and red DS. I don't know if somebody just swapped the back uh, from another DS or if this is actually how it was supposed to be. And that's kind of how it was supposed to be intentionally. Either way though, I find it really cool and I managed to pick this DS up for $40. I'm very happy and it was already powered up so I could try it out right away. The only thing that um, I wasn't happy with is that it didn't come with a stylus and it didn't come with the Game Boy uh, cover, which I don't really mind too much about the Game Boy cover. I kind of wish it came with a stylus, but thankfully they, the people that I bought it from gave me just a normal 2DS or 3DS stylus instead to make up for it. So I'm very happy when it came to buying this original DS for $40. I have a blue one uh, right next to me in my collection. The top half kind of broke off, so in a way, it was just like a normal Game Boy. Just, uh, it's like the Game Boy Micro or something. Just a little bit upgraded, that's all. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very happy to get just a normally uh, working DS just because I wanted to have one in my collection that works. Uh, so I'm very happy with this buy. The next lovely thing that we have here uh, in front of us today is a 2DS. I've been wanting to get a 2DS for a while. Uh, I had the original 3DS, but I wanted something that was a little bit newer and would provide a little bit more performance for um, actually getting emulators because I like to use an R4 card. Uh, with the R4 card, you can run custom homebrew applications uh, for a DS, and of course, a lot of them are emulators. So with those emulators, uh, I can get a little bit better performance in some games with a newer 3DS model. So I picked up a 2DS, this was going for $50. And the cool part about this is that I got the charger along with it and it came with Mario Kart 7 pre-installed uh, and a few other pre-installed applications. So I find that really amazing and uh, I couldn't think of anything better when it came to a, a deal like that. So another cool thing too is that it did come with a, an SD card since Mario Kart 7 was preloaded after all. Just a normal 4 gigabyte stick. It's good for just uh, basically holding data for your applications. Uh, I'm going to be getting a newer one uh, that holds a lot more storage because I want to try to mod this if I can completely 
Uh, my old 3DS, I just have that normal and just use an R4 card on it. But with this 2DS, I want to fully mod it and actually get a lot of 3DS games on here. Uh, just so I'm not able to collect a lot of them and then switch between them all the time when I can just access them all on one DS. Uh, it's one thing that m my friend and I have been doing a lot where we like to transport as many games as possible onto one system without having to switch discs and all that stuff because it makes everything a lot easier and you don't lose any games or scratch up anything. It's just all digital and you don't have to worry about it. So with a 2DS like this, I'm very happy uh, for $50. It was a great buy. The back's a little bit scratched up, but other than that, it's in great shape. So I'm very happy. Most, actually, this is the thing I'm most happy with uh, out of everything that I bought so far. The next on the list here, uh, these actually came from just a normal um, shop. So they actually came with a few NES games there, but I picked up a few that I just wanted to get different uh, copies of because these are in great condition. Also as well, uh, there's a couple of them that I didn't have. So the first game that I have here is Super Mario 2. Uh, it was actually for $10, so all these games were actually very cheap. So $10 for Super Mario Bros. 2 was awesome. Very happy with that price. Uh, the next game that I have is good old Pac-Man, as you can see. It's kind of funny that he has like a cowboy hat on top. I never knew why. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just not going to question it. I'm just going to just let it be out of it. <laughs> I managed to get that one for $4, which is a really great price. And uh, the third game that I got out of all the um, NES games when I went there was uh, Donkey Kong. Of course, it's the Donkey Kong Classic. So you get Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, basically the two games in a pack. And this came out to be $12. I never had Donkey Kong uh, for NES, so I wanted to pick that one up right away. And one thing that I'm very happy with that I wanted to buy was uh, Metroid, and this went for around $11. Uh, I have Metroid already, but it's not working now, and it was working for a little while, and the game's a little bit uh, cracked, so I got a replacement one uh, just because, you know what I mean, it was a working one, and I really want to get into Metroid more and I want to play that again sometime soon. Next on the list, um, I actually don't have it on me because I have it downstairs because I'm waiting to fix it. It's an original PS3 where you can play uh, PS2 games on it, which is backwards compatible, very nice. And also plays PS1, which all the PS3 uh, models provide. And thankfully it came uh, with these two PS2 games that a person gave me on Facebook Marketplace. So on there, I was able to get the PS3 for 60 bucks and these two games here. The PS3 has a yellow light of death. So all I have to do is just uh, reapply thermal paste onto the CPU. And it should be good to go, but uh, I'll see how that is when I fix it up. I may do that for a video on my main channel. I have here uh, in front of us today is something that I'm actually pretty excited to have because I always wanted to get it and I always saw so many videos on it. And it's sort of expensive um it's uh, mario paint with the mouse and the uh, mouse pad or i guess you'd say trackpad i'm not too sure how to call it uh, i'm so happy to get this because i see so many videos on it from people such as avgn and you know i mean just a lot of other popular retro gaming youtubers uh this goes for like a higher price i'm not too sure what though i managed to grab it for 40 dollars, which i'm very happy with i don't really need the box that says mario paint i just wanted to actually play the game and use the mouse with it because I always really wanted to try it out. <laughs> Create some cool paintings if you know what I mean. Last console that I have here um, on this wonderful table is a Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn came with the composite cables and it came with the power cable and it worked right off the bat. It's really nice because I bought a Sega Saturn at a convention called Too Many Games. Uh, it's like located in Oaks PA. I bought a Sega Saturn off of a guy for over $100, and it came out to be that the disc doesn't work, so what I'm going to do is just sell it for parts, only because um, I just, truthfully, I don't really feel like fixing it, and I already have this working Sega Saturn as is, so I actually have the laser piece uh, for replacing it, I just never really got into it, so I'm actually going to sell the laser along with the console, and just sell it um, for a cheaper price for anybody that just wants to grab it and try to replace it, and then hopefully they can make it work and sell it either way. So with this Sega Saturn though, it works fine. I picked up a few other Sega Saturn games um, like Sega Rally and all and Daytona USA. I love those driving games. So I wanted to get them on here. Of course, the next thing that I have to get is uh, Sonic Jam and Sonic R. If I can get those, then I'll be a pretty happy man uh, when it comes to my Sega Saturn collection. So I'm slowly building that up 
as time goes on. The last little um, handheld thing that we have here is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Game Gear. I have Sonic the Hedgehog 1 already, uh, but I felt like grabbing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I got to get Triple Trouble as well, which I could have got when I was at the flea market, but the price was a little bit too much for me at that moment because I already spent enough as is. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'll just get Sonic 2 for now and then get Triple Trouble later. Uh, either way. Now fully uh, getting into the Sonic ROM hacks here. Uh, they're really cool. So the first one I have here is the ordinary Sonic ROM hack. It's also just Sonic the Hedgehog on the front. It doesn't really say the ROM hack on there because it has Sonic EXE style on the box and everything, which I find really cool. Everything's in reversed. Uh, a little bit of the words are changed in there. A little bit more demonic a lot. Uh, demonic like. And it has some blood, so... Your, you know, your average Sonic game, pretty fun stuff. Uh, in the Sonic ROM hack, you're running around like normally in Sonic and then the screen changes and then Sonic EXE is chasing after you and you have to get to a TV monitor and jump on it in order to get transport, I guess, back into the normal Sonic realm or something. This is just one of the cool or one of the best ROM hacks that I played. Uh, the first one that I talked about was Sonic Mega Mix. Uh, in this ROM hack, you're able to play like as three different characters and all and you go through a different story and different levels and you can play through the original Sonic if you wanted to. So this is like a Sonic D Sonic 1 DLC. Uh, that's how it feels like. So I just wanted to bring this up. Like I said, if you guys wanna learn more uh, about this ROM hack, you can always um, just click in the description and check out the video on it. Very fun stuff. And if you actually wanna learn more about Sonic ROM hacks in general, there's a actual website called SSRG, which is Sonic Stuff Research Group. Uh, and they go deeply into Sonic ROM hacks and other mods too for Sonic. And there's also uh, Sonic Retro where they talk about it. So there's many uh, places and sources where you can look up information about these games. Pretty lit stuff. The very last thing here that I want to talk about is uh, probably my second favorite Sonic ROM hack, which is called the S Factor, Sonya and Silver. Uh, this game you can play as three different characters as well. I find it cool because it's S Factor, so all the characters have S's at the beginning of their names. So as you can see on the front cover, it's Sonya, Silver, and Scourge. And in this game as well, it's like an overhaul, just like Sonic Mega Mix. Uh, this one's a little bit more in the detail um, because there's more uh, different levels they can go through and you're fighting Nega Eggman. And I think you go against uh, Metal Knuckles because he's on the back cover. I never completely finished the game, but I definitely do plan on playing this at some point in time whenever we get a chance. 2,000 years later. And this game in general looks really awesome. I really want to get back into it and play the rest of the levels and just check out on what's going on with the S Factor here. Uh, all the characters have their own special move sets as well, so uh, each character, you know what I mean, you're not going to go through the same Sonic the Hedgehog movements. I think only Scourge has the same movements as Sonic, uh, which is pretty nice. So instead of playing Sonya and Silver, you want to play as normal Sonic. You can play a Scourge, so pretty fun stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, if there's any cool collectibles that you got recently, definitely let us know in the comments below. Definitely check out the Purge and Collectors Facebook page if you just want to learn more about, you know, I mean, buying stuff that we usually like to sell on there. I'll probably sell some stuff uh, on there as well that I showed in here, depending on um, whatever I have. Or there's just other stuff that I may want to sell as well. That I talked about like my uh, Psycho Saturn. It depends. So let me know guys uh, how you think about all the cool collectibles here and let me know about yours as well. I would definitely appreciate it. So anyways, have a great one guys. And this is Slim Shaney Graphics out. Now I'm going to go play some Sanic. Uh